Hey guys, Bobby here with another quick and easy Final Cut tutorial, this time all about keyframes. So what is a keyframe? Basically a keyframe is a point you put on your timeline, either on the video or the audio side of things, and it either begins or ends some kind of motion, transition, or effect. Think of it like two bookends and in between them, something is happening. In the intro you saw a few clips that were keyframed to do different things, specifically zooming in and out, rotating and repositioning a clip, as well as an audio fade out that was done by keyframes. Now keep in mind these were not the only things done on these clips, but let's jump in and show you how to quickly and easily accomplish those keyframe techniques. All right, so here I am in my editor. We've got our first clip here, second clip here, and then an audio clip here that we'll work on today. On this first clip in the intro you saw, we did a rotation as well as changing the scale or basically zooming out. Uh, so let's take a look at that one first. We're gonna go back to the very beginning of this clip um, and the first thing we're going to do is decide where we want it to start. Now, I think I started it at negative 10 degrees of the rotation. And one of the things you'll see is that you uh, start to you basically rotate out of the frame and you show some black in the corners. So that's why we ended up zooming out as well. So in the beginning, I started zoomed in instead of 100%. I was at 130%, I believe. And now it's all covered. You can't see any black. So to start a keyframe or to really add a keyframe anywhere, you just wanna hit this little icon here. And we're gonna keyframe both of these. So this is the start of our keyframe. This is the first bookend. So this is where the clip will begin. Then at the end of it, you'll just bring your playhead all the way to the end. I'm gonna go one frame over just to show you. So you can see it's slanted here and that's not what I want, but I do want that rotation effect. So I'm gonna to go to the very end or if you wanted it in the middle, you can do that as well. You're gonna hit the keyframe button and we're gonna go out to 100%. So that's the zoom out right there. Then we're gonna hit the keyframe up here for the rotation, click in this box, zero degrees, and now it is centered. You can even look at the numbers if we scrub through this. We start at negative 10 and 130%. And if you scrub through it, gradually changes back down to where we end at zero degrees and 100%. Now I also did some other things in the intro like a speed ramp and a glitch effect, so those aren't taking place here. But as far as the keyframes go, you have that nice smooth transition uh, as well as the zoom out that helps it a little bit as well. Now in this one, we're gonna do something similar. You'll notice this is a time lapse that was done by photos, not video. So it's not that right aspect ratio right off the bat. So just from the very beginning, we're gonna go ahead and punch this in. I know it's 120% to fill that frame. So don't get thrown off by the fact that we're starting at 120% as opposed to 100. So in the very beginning, again, we're gonna click this. We're gonna keyframe this one to zoom in. So we're just gonna hit that keyframe at the very beginning. Then we'll go to the very end. We'll hit the keyframe again. And let's say we want to zoom in 10%. So we, again, we started at 120 because of the aspect ratio. We'll click 130 and you can see it punch in. But one other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to not zoom in so much up here on the Northern Lights. I wanted to keep those mountains. So I'm gonna add another keyframe. This one I'm gonna do for the position up here. And then at the very end, I'm going to add a keyframe again up there. I just want this to go up a little bit. So I'm just gonna say 75 for the Y axis and you can see it move up there. So you have that zoom in, you have the repositioning of the frame to keep the mountains in the frame as well. Last but not least is audio, which you can keyframe for. Sometimes I'll use this to fade out, which is what we're gonna do here. Let's listen to the uh, clip real quick, just like this as it is with no keyframes. So if I want to keyframe this, I just click on it. You'll see the keyframe icon up here by the volume adjustment tab. You'll hit that in the very beginning. We'll go down to the very end. We'll hit it one more time and we'll bring this way down. Let's bring it actually down to infinity here so you can see a full fade out and we'll play through that. So there it is guys, keyframing basics in under five minutes. There's plenty more you can do with keyframes. Just look for that little icon we've been hitting on the right side with any effects or options with your clips, both on the video and the audio side. Look out for a more advanced keyframing video where we'll talk all about keyframing masks. And as always, if you found this helpful, please help me out by hitting the thumbs up button, subscribing, and following along for more videos.